Hey everybody, welcome to another video here on the channel, video number three for AD3D. And today's video is brought to you by AD3DStuff.com for mounts for all of your technology needs. And we're gonna show you some of those things today. If you saw the thumbnail, you probably know that this is about a Stream Deck plugin. There is a little bit of bonus material here though that I wanna share with you guys. We're gonna make this video go super fast. But if you don't wanna watch a video today, and I totally get that, head down to the description of this video and I will have a link down there of how you can get a Stream Deck super cheap and you can also get my presets downloaded for free. There's no charge, there's no signups, there's no nothing. It's just a link to download them and then you can have these presets. So without further ado, let's unveil my preset bank. So let's show that. So you can see there's my Stream Deck and all of the things that you basically normally do in Tinkercad are now a one button push and you don't have to look for menu items and that kind of stuff, which will speed up your process. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's pretty nice to have at your fingertips. All right, so we've got that up on the screen. I'm gonna show you how it works. And the thing I wanted to show you today is there's been some comments about the fillet video because that went really well and we had a lot of people on there. And if you haven't read all the comments, which I totally understand, there's a lot of them, I do go through all the comments and I do like to say thank you or get the ideas and then share them again. And you guys give me ideas for videos. One of the most popular ones was about how I made the fillets and how it was way more difficult than it needed to be, which I totally understand. The idea of making that video really for me was to share with you a technique that I use and you may apply it down the road. It wasn't about making a cube or a drawer the easiest possible way. It was about making fillets a different way, okay? So just wanna let you guys know, what I show here is the way that I do it. I think I said this in the last video. And the idea is to spark your creativity in Tinkercad and show you that you can probably do a lot more than you think you can right in this program. This was a great tip and I don't remember the person who shared it. But if you go back through the comments and you find them and you see it, make sure you say thank you to them for sure. So I thought this was really cool because I never knew this before. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I put a cube down here and I'm gonna change the radius to get my fillet, right? That's, that's what we kind of, that's what we want, but we want it on a box that fits here. Now, normally what you would do right now is grab a hold of this. And the minute you start stretching this, you can see that fillet gets way out of whack. Let's not do that. We're gonna hit undo on our stream deck here. There's the undo button, nice and fast. What you wanna do is come up here to the original box and you wanna change your length up here to match your size. Now these are millimeters over here if that's what you have everything set to uh, in your settings is millimeters. And now you can make your box like this and the fillets stay the right dimension. Absolutely fantastic. And if you don't change, pull and push any of this stuff, they will stay that way. So I just wanna show you really quick. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So we'll, instead of going to the menu up there, we can just hit the duplicate button. Boom, that's on the stream deck right there, right there. And now we'll move this up, right? And while we're still inside this edit, we'll change our length. Let's squeeze that in a little bit. Now you could punch these numbers in, right? You could definitely punch these numbers in. It'd be a lot easier to do that to get more accurate. I'm just doing this for, just to show you. Let's make this bottom box transparent. A new thing I learned, a button that's right here on the stream deck. And when we click that, it makes it transparent so we can see inside of it. Totally awesome. All right, and what we're gonna do is change the height now. We're gonna change it just a little bit, like so. We'll go ahead and look at the front view here and we'll drag it down. Now, this is a super cool technique. Okay, everything's still aligned because we use this box and it does it automatically align to center, to the center point. So now all we need to do is take this bottom box. Let's just put it back on solid. There we go. And then we wanna make this guy the hole, just like that. And then all we need to do is come up to the group button up here and press group. And if you're, oops, we need to select all and then <laughs> then group. Like I said, learn to use the buttons. And there we have our filleted box with a whole lot of less trouble. So with that neat tip and your stream deck, if you have one, and if you don't, 
This is really cool. I do want to share this other link with you. Uh, and the presets, you now have a super fast solution for getting stuff made. So let's show you right now. I want to kind of explain this a little bit. So if you go to Amazon right now, and I know Amazon's not everybody's favorite place to buy stuff right now, but this is a really good deal. So you want to grab one while you can. These are going to be gone quick. This is normally $129. So that's the M.2 version of this. There is no difference other than it has a removable faceplate and a removable USB cable. Those are the differences between MK1 and MK2. This is an MK1, and it says on the title, discontinued, no longer supported by Elgato. That is not true. <laughs> that is absolutely 100% not true. This stream deck that you're seeing me work right here, this guy, this is this is this stream deck on the screen. It's a one uh, MK1. So they are fully supported. They fully work. They're a great thing to have because they work for multiple programs. They don't just work for Tinkercad. They work, you can program these with pages and pages of buttons to work for any program that you have on your computer. If you don't have one, disregard the name Stream Deck. It is a new computer programmable keyboard for $85.99 and it is still supported fully supported it's not don't listen to what they say is and this is a great deal you usually don't see things you know 40 percent off or so so grab yourself one of these get my preset pack the links are down in the description of this video i told you i'd make it short today and it's going to be short thanks for joining me everybody and we will see you guys in the next one stay creative bye bye